Hello everyone, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage. Okay, so some of you guys don't even know what is this white box. So let's open it up. This is the Red Cat Racing, the 64. Uh, let's open it up and see how it looks actually. Uh, I did not even want it to get one of those here, but everybody was asking if we got those. And I decided to bring one. Um, and let's see, so when you open it up, I just want to show it's very heavy so when you handle the one that you get be careful because they are super super heavy uh, we'll see why in a second but uh, it's pretty heavy so let's flip it over here And I'm shooting right now on another box because my table is busy with the more important project. Uh, so this is the 64 um, and what they did, they did kind of a car that like it's more kind of Mexican culture vehicle uh, that can uh, bounce up and down and uh, do all kind of other stuff. But let's open it up, see if, we, if we're gonna like it. So it's packed really, really well, and the box is really, really nice. And inside of the box, there is walls with graffiti that probably you cannot really see. Uh, we're gonna tear one apart later. And, oh, look at this. Actually, the box is really, really nice. I'm kind of surprised because usually the packing when you see the white package you say oh it's not so nice but this is pretty cool and then let's open it up it's like a babushka it's a box in a box in a box in a box okay so first thing first there is a user manual and then there is a graphics here there is a graphic kit um, we're gonna pull those out later it's a big mess to open this thing it's packed really really nice and then there is the remote over here that it's more like an airplane re style remote. We got here the remote. Uh, it's really nice remote, but again, it's more airplane style. Uh, let's see if the entire thing can actually come out right now. Yeah. You have to be very careful when you lift it out because there is other small gentle stuff underneath it. And then look at this. The car is actually inside sitting. It's really heavy. Uh, it's sitting all the way to the bottom. So we need to be super careful when you're going to try to take it out. It's super heavy because guys, there is here pieces of lead. The little, this, this thing probably weigh like a pound or two. I don't know why they put the lead over here. I guess we're gonna read the instruction and see later, but there's lead inside. And there is the battery. Too bad it did not go with LiPo. Red kit, about time to get rid of the stupid plugs. They are really annoying and they're too big. And let's pull the vehicle out. Dum -da -da -dum. Trying to pull it as gentle I can because it's kind of holding the bottom over here. There it is. Let's get rid of this real quick and bring this thing back because it's gonna look really nice on it. It is gonna fit here. It's well. So this is the vehicle. So I'm manually gonna turn it. I'm gonna be the lazy Susan. Uh, this is the vehicle it's pretty cool on the first glance it's pretty cool uh, it's a nice candy apple red I hope that the camera can actually catch this color um, supposedly the trunks I can open I'm not sure I need to see no this is actually it's uh, it's part of the plastic the PETG uh, there's cool details inside I'm gonna take the camera and go around it in a second and I'm gonna hold it gently to show you guys the bottom of this vehicle. The body pins are over here on the edges, just so you know where to look for them. Very small drive shaft, very, very, very simple, simple platform. 
Um, I think for, for what this thing goes for, the platform is very simple and very easy. Um, I'm surprised that actually the finish on this is, is that perfect. Usually they don't do that. Let's see, can you see it in the picture? As you can. Um, let me do this. Let me take the camera out and actually film it around so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, I can already see here that there is like the fenders need to get pushed out. It's actually pushed in. The, the double stick tape that they put here is kind of off. Uh, I thought it's maybe to open the hood, but it's not. It's just like it's off this, the, from the gluing, but it's not a big deal. Uh, let's take the ca camera and go around and look at it. Okay, so let's start with the front grille. Uh, the front chrome grille look very promising. Um, there is over there insert for the light. It will be cool to put light inside. Uh, windshield wiper, kind of chrome windshield, windshield wiper, really cool. And then when you look closely, you can see the spoke wheels over there. Uh, they're really cool spoke wheels. You know what, I haven't touched the tires to see how the tires are. Yeah, they are kind of very, very firm tires. Um, they're very firm and they look actually real. They're pretty cool. Uh, you even have here the logo. And you have the small side mirrors. You have those nice handles. And you have the rear with the Impala. Let's turn it more. And then you have the tail section is really 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 cool very impressive actually for something that coming from company like red kit and this is something that they did uh, this is like their development they're working on it for a couple years now uh, lately their company become to be very secretive they don't tell you what's coming out it just suddenly come out and this is the inside of it more or less very hard to take a video of it because it's so shiny so what we need to do is make another video of this thing actually performing and this is of course coming in there the red the candy apple red and it's have a candy blue the special editions and so um, let's do this and show everybody how this thing is supposed to perform don't forget to like subscribe and share we have those available at motor styles hobby shop uh, they are 650 dollar plus tax it's about $700 and it's cash only. So it's going to be $700 cash out the door deal. Uh, come and pick it up. Don't pay $1,900 on eBay or anything when you can get it at the shop and go home with it today. Bye. Don't forget to set up appointment before. <laughs>